Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So I haven't done a what I eat in a day video in a while. And since I am sort of changing things up with my diet for the wedding, I figured I would do a video and just sort of take you through my day and show you what I've been eating. Now, of course, you know, it's, I switch it up every week because I like to get a variety of nutrients into my diet, but this can still give you some ideas of sort of how I structure my day and some healthy recipe ideas as well. As you can see, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, and this is what I've always done even before changing up my diet, is I always have a big glass of water. Sometimes, of course, I'll add lemon to it, and I always have my cup of coffee. And I only limit myself to one cup of coffee a day, only because I know how my body handles caffeine. And if I have two cups a day, it really starts to affect my sleep at night. And we all know that sleep is so critical for your overall health, for clear skin, all that good stuff. Now, my main two goals for the wedding is to really just tone everything up. I don't really wanna lose weight, I just wanna look more toned. So of course, one big factor of that is my new workout routine. And I am gonna do a separate video for that, but also increasing my overall protein intake. So today I'm gonna to sort of show you some recipes that I've been including to get in more protein throughout my day. And then the other main goal, which is probably the biggest goal, is to really just have clear, glowy, vibrant skin for the wedding, of course. Who doesn't want that? But I feel like I have to work extra hard more than the average person to get that vibrant, clear skin because I have always had problematic skin. Uh, ever since puberty, really, all the way into my 20s, I've dealt with acne, hormonal acne, just not good skin at all. And, you know, even after correcting my hormonal imbalances and switching to more of a whole foods diet, uh, of course, all of my acne has disappeared pretty much, but I'm left with acne scars. And so anyway, for me, it just takes a lot more effort to get clear, glowy, vibrant skin. But I do notice that, you know, when I start to include more raw fruits and vegetables, salads, smoothies, fresh juices into my weekly diet, I do start to see my skin just come alive. So for me, that's where it starts is with your diet and of course, lowering my stress levels. I could really use some help with that right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, all of the recipes that you see in today's video are gonna be on my blog. I'm gonna have all those links for y'all in the description box below, as well as the macros. So anyway, I am starving. We're gonna head to the kitchen right now and get started. ready to eat. Yes, I'm one of those weird ones that likes to cut up my egg before I eat it. <laughs> but I love a runny yolk. Eggs over easy are like, ugh, love it. So I've been starting my morning off with a high protein, high fat, lower carb breakfast. And it really just gives me a lot of mental clarity for those, you know, early morning hours, which is when I get a lot of my work done. 
So it's great for mental clarity, at least it is for me. If I don't have this, I will have a high protein breakfast smoothie. But these turkey sausages, y'all, are amazing. I can't eat without saying grace first. Amen. <laughs> By the way, this is basically just my beef breakfast sausage, but I substituted the ground beef with ground turkey for more of a lean protein option. And y'all, these turkey sausages are just so good. So this breakfast is about 37 grams of protein and I promise you it is going to keep you full all morning long which is why I love it so much because you know I get most of my work done during the morning hours and so it just keeps me full and satisfied and I'm not hungry whatsoever for at least four or five hours. The eggs are a good source of B vitamins and choline. Choline is really good for your liver and to have healthy skin, you have to have a healthy liver. Of course, the avocado is chock full of nutrients. It's pretty much a superfood, but it has copper, which is great for your skin. And of course, the turkey sausage is a good way, a very easy and delicious way to get more protein in first thing in the morning. I have cleared my plate y'all <laughs> it was so delicious but I will be back whenever it's time for lunch okay so it's now lunch time and I'm gonna whip up a quick mango chicken salad and this one's super easy for meal prepping you can prep it at the beginning of the week which is what I like to do and then that way you can just grab and go for a quick lunch option I like to maximize my work hours before Darrell gets home from work so for me having my lunch meal prepped is super important I just don't have it meal prepped today because I wanted to show y'all how to make it. So anyway, it's super delicious. Lots of raw fresh fruits and vegetables, like I was saying earlier, for your skin, vitamin C, antioxidants, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna show you how to make my glowy skin juice recipe. So let's go. this looks y'all it is so creamy full of colors and nutrients I cannot wait to dig in all right I'm about to make my glowing skin juice recipe we have one cucumber some ginger a lemon one beet some carrots I would say about three to four carrots depending on how big they are and a little bundle of parsley so let's do this
lunch is served. I am having my glowy skin juice recipe and my mango chicken salad, which y'all saw me just make, and it is so good. This one can be meal prepped up to three days in advance, um, but it's just so full of flavor, colors, nutrients. Ah. And I don't know what it is, but I've been craving mango here lately, so I've been making a ton of recipes with mango. There goes my happy dance. <laughs> The cilantro lime dressing. Oh my goodness. You'll have to try the salad recipe. And like I said, I'm really trying to include more raw fruits and vegetables into my daily diet. Um, not only do I feel more energized, but that's when I really start to see a difference in how clear my complexion is. So yes, this salad is full of raw fruits and vegetables. And of course this juice recipe is just full of nutrients. So this juice recipe, if you're new to juicing, you can definitely add an apple if you want it to be a little bit more sweet. But I don't really care for my juices being too sweet. Sometimes I will, you know, but for the most part, I like to keep it pretty low in sugar. Um, but the cucumber is high in silica, which is good for your skin and your hair. The beets are great for your liver health. And of course, a healthy liver equals healthy skin. Um, your, the carrots, of course, are a good source of beta carotene, which is a powerful antioxidant. The lemon is high in vitamin C, which, like we've talked about before, is good for your skin because it's essential in the production of collagen. And the ginger just adds that extra spice and flavor and, of course, the anti-inflammatory benefits. The parsley, I like to add it just for the extra minerals. Um, it's good for your kidneys as well, but I just like the taste of the parsley. It sort of adds a little spice to it as well. But very good juice recipe. And like I said, if it's a little, if it's not sweet enough for you, you can totally add an apple. I could literally lick the plate with this salad. That's how good it is. And the dressing is just perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this juice recipe, clean up the kitchen, and then I will get back to y'all in a little bit. So for a snack today, I'm gonna have a couple of my protein brownies. And y'all, these are so delicious. They're gluten-free, grain-free, and dairy-free. And I went ahead and meal prepped these at the beginning of the week, but I will have the recipe listed for y'all below. It's 100 calories per brownie and about four grams of protein per brownie. These are delicious. It is now dinner time and I think I'm gonna make my teriyaki ground turkey and cauliflower rice bowl. I shared this recipe with y'all in one of my previous meal preps and it is just so good. I've been making it on repeat like every other week. It's high in protein, it's delicious, it's filling, and of course I'm gonna have all the recipes from today's video linked for y'all in the description box below in case you wanna try any of them. But anyway, let's go.
Look how good this looks, y'all. I'm so ready to dig in. Okay, y'all, it's time for Netflix and chill. See y'all later. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. What I eat in a typical day to get myself ready for this wedding. I hope it gave you some healthy recipe ideas. Don't forget that all of the recipes in today's video are gonna be over on my blog, as well as the macros for each recipe. I have all those links for y'all in the description box below. And don't forget that if you make any of my recipes or any of my meal preps, you can tag me over on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy healthy recipes meal preps lifestyle advice all that good stuff be sure to hit that subscribe button below but that's it for today i'll see you on the next video bye